Salwana. This is Isizulu with Tingani. In this lesson, we will focus on how you form Zulu adjectives. Um, an adjective, as you remember, is a word that describes a noun. Um, for example, is it uh, a tall boy? Is it a short boy? Is it a white table? Is it a green table? That is an adjective. Let's see how you do that in Zulu. Perhaps before I uh, get into that, I need to tell you that there are already an adjective in Zulu that are there for you. You just need to take those adjectives and plug them into a sentence. Now, as you know, when you do that in Zulu, there are other things that you need to understand, and that's what we're going to be talking about. So, in Zulu, you have adjectives like ngane, which means small, young, or the youngest. And then you can have an adjective like klope, which means white. Now, it depends on what you're talking about here. Um, the prefix or the concord of uh, each adjective will vary, will change. Um, because different uh, object, uh, subjects will have uh, different uh, prefixes or concords. So let's see how it works. The first thing that I think you need to understand is the theory that just applies to any adjective that you'll be forming in Zulu. First of all, you need to understand that there is an A, we call this a uh, an adjective modifier. This is what makes um, an adjective in a sentence. In other words, if you plug this A uh, in front of the uh, adjective, that qualifies or that links or describes the noun. So an A is an adjective uh, modifier. And then you need a prefix of the noun that you're describing. In this case, our prefix is UM. As you can see, the UM, those are the prefix of the noun umfana. And then add that to an adjective. If you do that, you have a Zulu adjective. Let's see how that works. So you're familiar with the word umfana now, which means a boy. And you are familiar with ngane because I told you that there are adjectives that are already there for you. You don't need to create the actual ad uh, adjectives. You just have to link them to the noun to show that you're describing the noun. And that's what's really complicated. Let's look at how do you end up having this OM? Because this sentence reads, a young boy. Um, but you can see the word order here, it's different. In Zulu is the boy that is young. In English, it's a young boy. Let's go back to this theory and plug in that information. So we said you need an, an A which is a modifier, yes. And then you need a prefix. Our prefix, in this case, is UM. So there you go, we have our UM and the adjective. Our adjective, in this case, is NANI. There you go, we have NANI. So all this will be together. You, the A, U, M, and NANI. This is an adjective. But as you remember, in Zulu, there's something wrong here. You can have two vowels together. Uh, how do we deal with this problem? Uh, let's go back to the vowel uh, rules, uh, which says A plus U is equal to O. So this A and U will become an O. And the correct version of this will be OM NAMI. That means the youngest one, and that's what we have over there. Do you see how that works? We can do the same thing over here um, with this sentence. Remember we said clope means white. So here again you have um, a white boy. Uh, in Zulu will say a boy um, that is white. How did we come up with that O-N? It's the same rule. We have an A which is adjective modifier, and then we have a prefix, which is U-M, and then we have our adjective, which is clopping. At the end, 
the A and the U became an O, and then all what you have at the end is OM sloppy. That boy is now white. That white describes the boy. I hope this makes it very easier for you to understand the adjectives. Now, remember, I only use the same noun, umfana. It will be different if I use a cat, if I use a dog, if I use a girl, because the prefix will be different. We can deal with that in a different uh, lesson, not in this one. For now, I hope you enjoy the lesson on adjectives. Thank you.